Michigan is set to make a historic investment in public schools after a very difficult year when many schools were worried they would have to close their doors for good. This new funding is creating a, a sense of whiplash. Grant Hearns joins us from Lansing and Grant, uh, we're talking about a lot of money here. We are talking about $17 billion and that's going to be a major impact for teachers, staff and of course students. It's also one of the rare moments of widespread bipartisanship coming here uh, from Lansing and it's going to give a major boost because that money is on time. The funding is being hailed as historic $17.1 billion in funding for classrooms, raising the amount spent on each student from $8,100 to $8,700, a big step to close the funding gap between districts. The piece is in my 28 years in public education, I have never seen this type of opportunity for kids across the state of Michigan from a financial standpoint. The money will be used for everything from classroom spending to mental health programs to preschools and potentially teacher pay. It also means a 10% jump in funding, something that was unheard of just a few months ago when schools were worried they would barely have enough money at all. Oh my gosh, we can actually provide additional level support, support for our children that we never thought we were going to. So it's almost one of those moments where uh, you could pinch me right now because is this real? But educators are also facing a challenge, what to do with their windfall, so they set themselves and their students up for success. Long term, that when the difficult times return, as they always do, right? You and I have been around long enough to see the cyclical natures of economies, that we make sure that we do whatever we can to protect ourselves in those moments as well, so the kids who are with us at that time are not harmed. Now, educators have also been quick to point out this is the first budget that's come in on time from lawmakers in three years. The governor is expected to sign this bill. We don't know when. Her office only said it would be soon. In Lansing, Grant Herms, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Grant, thanks.